in terms of follow-up, once you make the sale and it's like, yippee, I did it. You know, it seems like the, 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 it's over, game over, I win, and have a nice day. Um, but the hardest thing to do is to get that first sale, to earn the trust of the customer, to, you got your foot in the door, you made the cold call, you got the meeting, you did the follow-ups, you finally, you know, you make a sale. You want to make sure that person walks away with a good taste in their mouth. Um, uh, you know, that they really um, enjoyed working with you um, and that you have a full understanding of did it work, did it not work, feedback, thoughts, um, what's the next step. Um, the best way to grow my business is by getting business from people who've already worked with me, know that they like working with me, have had results with me, have enjoyed working with me, and they want to do something else. Um, it's much harder to do another cold call and to go out and, and get a new prospect. You really should be doing a balancing act of both, um, ideally in, in your business, um, whatever it is that you're selling. But um, writing thank you notes is the number one thing. Uh, the, the easiest thing that you can do it takes two minutes um, and a little bit of thought and a pen and a little card and it goes a long way. Um, so few people actually get snail mail. Um, as we call it now. The other day I had um, I had a mentee um, helping me make cold calls actually. He was doing some sales training. I had him in here and he's um, thinking about a, a career in sales and I said well if you're thinking about sales this you know making the call is the first step um, in that process. So he came in and um, he was talking to some of my managers and I said well if you're interested in sales um, you should probably follow up with a thank you note at thanking them for their time for spending some time explaining sales to you. He said okay I think I'm going to email them. I said that sounds great and I'm sure that would be fine but that extra step where you're writing with you know real handwriting and and you're writing from the heart um, even if it's a couple sentences just to say thanks taking those couple minutes people understand that that takes a little more effort than writing that email. Um, in a world where we have no time to even watch a half hour program on TV and we're flipping through commercial breaks for an 18 minute program instead of a 30 minute program, we're all rushing around like crazy people and it's really nice to receive the thank you note. So that's the first and, and really the easiest thing that you can do because it's from the heart. People know, you know, when you're being genuine. People want to work with people that they like and people certainly like being appreciated. Um, the other thing in terms of follow up is owning up to what it is that you accomplished or maybe didn't accomplish. Um, you don't have to fudge over mistakes or, or kind of pretend like they didn't happen. It's okay to kind of say, you know, hey, Mr. Customer, what did you like? What did you not like? Um, let's have it all out there so we can get the next, so you, you're asking for the next project and potentially the next sale through acknowledging mistakes, which is kind of a funny, funny thing to think about. Um, but in my company, we call it recaps, um, where, okay, campaign's over, give it a couple weeks, and you go back out to the client. It's a reason to meet with them again face-to-face, -face, which is probably the best way to relate to anybody, not over email, not over the phone, face-to-face -face with somebody and saying, you know, here is everything that we did. You know, I'm going to outline it on a one sheet. I'm going to put a PowerPoint presentation together. Um, it shows an appreciation for their business when you have already gotten the deal done and yet you're still going back to service the client. Um, constantly um, keeping in touch with them even when they're not doing business with you. Uh, maybe it's a seasonal business, they're only on in the summer. Um, keeping up with them through the winter so that next summer rolls around they know that you cared enough to make the phone call every once in a while, to come out and visit them and say hello, to send them a thank you note or to send them a holiday card. People um, People, like I said, uh, they, 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 they feel genuine people and they know um, when you actually care to do that little extra step. Um, I try to write things down about somebody um, when their birthday is or you know how many kids they have or if I see an article that just reminds me of them, even if it's got nothing to do with their business, relating to them on a level, that's a way of follow-up too because it's following up and developing the relationship even if you're not currently doing business because somewhere along the road they're going to want to, you know, if they do have a, a little bit of money to spend or they have a need, they're going to think of you before the guy who's just one and done. You know, I'm in, I'm out. See you later. Thanks for the business.